If you thrive on close company, merciless heat, and nearly non-stop rock and roll, then you would have found happiness this weekend in Devore, California. Hundreds of thousands of people made the US Festival their home and entertainment spot this weekend, making it one of the biggest cultural gatherings in the United States since Woodstock. The promise of great music is what drew most of these people here in the first place, and the concert is definitely the main event here. But all in all, music is only one of many sides to the US Festival. Badges, programs, all official merchandise, all going cheap, very nice. Good afternoon, how are you? It's San There's Diego. The Look at those There's people the out there in San Diego watching oh. us on TV. Boy, I'll bet you're really stoned. There were a lot of people attempting to reach that state, some who perhaps went too far. But there were many more people whose main concern was finding thirst quenching, body cooling water. <laughs> In 106 degree heat, the source of the water didn't matter. Water hoses from the speaker stands or community showers, it was appreciated all the same. Water substitutes were available too. When people weren't working on making their lives bearable under the less than luxurious conditions, they concentrated on having fun. They also gave some thought to the US experience. No violence, a lot of fun, good time. People are fantastic. It's really good to see this happen now because, you know, it's just like they say, people can get together and have a good weekend and not have any trouble and enjoy the music. And there's technology here, which is really even greater because that's what I like. And uh, I don't know, it's, I, I look forward to the rest of the 80s. <laughs> Historically, US may never be considered to have the impact that Woodstock had on the youth of that generation, but it's clear that at least 100,000 people or so here will look back at this event as being a very rare experience. Bridget Asaro, News 8, DeVore.